Here with Andy Brockham, a head coach of the Bulldogs, right here at the Elite Eight, going into the semifinals. Coach uh, had a good practice today. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the things that you saw in practice, how you felt about the session. You know, when it's short like this in the tournament, it's, it's almost a good thing because you have to be precise and you have to get from drill to drill and um, get the blood flowing, but then you get to get off the off the floor and off your legs. So I thought it was good. I uh, thought we were able to work on a few things that I think might help us in the game and uh, pretty much just, you know, get, getting our legs back and getting some of that, you know, just some of that tiredness out of you and, and getting on the floor again. So I thought it was a great practice and, you know, there's not too many more practices this year, so I enjoyed it. And you guys uh, had a chance to get that first game under your belt, obviously, in the quarterfinals. Uh, what uh, was it like for your team coming into that game? And maybe what kind of things did you have as takeaways coming out of it going into the semis? Hmm, that's, that, that's a good question. I, we're just moving so fast forward that uh, I'm not sure how many takeaways we took. Uh, we, we just know that every team here is capable of winning it all. Um, so these games are 50-50 on neutral floors. Well, sort of Northern State's pretty close, and they packed that baby out <laughs> yesterday. And that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, I think they got me chomp, uh, stomping and cheering a couple times with their Wolves cheer. But, uh, you know, th that's basically the takeaway. Wow, these teams are good, and uh, you're going to have to fight every second to, to try to win these games. And speaking of uh, good teams, uh, West Texas A&M coming up here, a very balanced team with uh, a lot of guys that can hurt you, as you would expect, uh, being one of the final eight teams, now final four teams. What have you seen from West Texas A&M? I've seen a lot of difficult actions to guard, but, uh, I mean, if you could boil it down, I think, I think defending the three-point line will be important because of their, their talented shooters and, you know, their point guard is uh, their leading scorer, a very aggressive player and very talented. He's going to make some shots that, that really we have – I mean, we're not going to be able to defend. He's going to put them in, so we're going to have to put that behind us in our mind and, and, and keep fighting and try to slow them down. Um, so well coached, um, good players. He's got a good group. So it's it just every story here in the Elite Eight is, is pretty incredible, how, how teams got here, how they came together, um, what had to happen for teams to get here. And, and um, you know, there's going to be one lucky team uh, who has the best story at the end and it's still available to us, so we're trying for it. Well, speaking of things that got you guys here, one of them is uh, great depth and great balance and ability of any guy to really step up and make a contribution. Talk about some of the guys that really stepped up. You really had a tremendous team effort to get the win over Barry. I mean, it was a team effort. I mean, in a game like that, every individual play can be the play that wins it. So anytime somebody comes in and makes one play, they, they stepped up. And, uh, you know, you'd have to just go out throughout the year and look at the box scores and say, wow, remember when. You know, Jen McFadden did this, or Taekwon Greer did this in the opening tournament, or Deshaun Thrower did this in the regional finals. I mean, and, and I'm missing every, I mean, everybody's done something like that. And uh, it's it's fun to cheer for, and but it's fun to second guess too. And uh, you know, if we get beat, then in hindsight, you might say we should have shortened the bench or something. But this is who we are for now, and um, we're gonna keep rolling with it. Well, speaking of uh, something to cheer for, you guys have some fan buses coming in, cheerleaders, band. You've gotten a lot of great support from Big Rapids and everywhere else that people uh, are Bulldogs. And so talk a little bit about that uh, fan support that you guys have gotten from the community, from the alumni, and looking forward to even more fan support here on Thursday. We just appreciate it. Um, you know, in one way, we deserve it because of all of our hard work. But in most ways, um, we're lucky. We appreciate it, and uh, it's, it's not expected. Um, you know, we're we're a family that's doing this together, but we're open to anybody who wants to join in. And uh, we've had such a such a group supporting us for a long time, for years. And then uh, you know, a lot of people come along for this ride, and we're we're so happy to share it with them. It's what makes it special. You know, if you always do it by yourself, then. I mean, it's just special to, to get in the fan, cut up the nets and ha hand it to people and get in the stands and, and just share these experiences because they're once in a lifetime and, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to share them. Uh, we're just ready to uh, get business done. Um, you know, we have a big game tomorrow against a real good uh, West Texas A&M team. I think they have like 30 plus wins on the season, uh, kind of like how we are. So it's going to be a, a real fun game, real fun atmosphere. And you guys had a chance to get that quarterfinal game under your belt there a little bit. What was it like stepping out on the court there on the big stage here in the Elite Eight? What was it like, and how long did it take you guys maybe to adjust and kind of get in your flow? Uh, it was an adrenaline rush. Um, that was probably one of my main things yesterday. I had a lot of energy, a lot of excitement being there for the first time on that type of stage. Um, but I feel like as a team, we handled it well. Um, we were able to come up with the win and uh, survive in advance. 
you know, and we talked about surviving advance, and uh, you guys have great depth, and that was part of the reason you guys were able to survive in advance. Talk about some of the guys that stepped up. Cushing Berry stepped up, Furlick stepped up, and really made some big plays for you guys. Uh, Cush has been like that with us all year. Any team that we needed, anything the team needed, uh, a spark to start the game off or whatever. Uh, yesterday he came off with three big, or well, 11 straight buckets or 11 straight points, and that was huge to get us started. And then Hank was always a driving force, and Peter and Deshaun came up big playing defense. And um, even guys like Ty and Cole came and gave us some big minutes too. And now you guys look ahead to West Texas A&M, kind of a balanced team, a little bit of a different look than Barry. What have you guys seen from West Texas A&M? Um, they have a, they're bigger than Barry was. Um, Barry had a lot of shooters. Uh, West Texas has a lot of shooters too. They have one shooter who's hit a lot of threes on the season. So it's going to be a lot what we've been doing all year, trying to keep them from shooting the three. Um, they like to shoot the three just like Barry does, but they're just a little bit bigger inside. So. And if you just talked about some of the keys to the game there, maybe uh, talk a little bit more about what kind of things fans will see the Bulldogs doing if the Bulldogs are coming away with a W tomorrow. Uh, they're going to see us defend and uh, see us rebound. We're going to do what we usually do, and we're, you know, we're going to press the team, try to get them to speed the game up into our pace. And uh, it's probably going to be a lot of bucket score. How excited are you uh, to be in the Final Four here of Division Two here with a group of guys that you've come a long ways with? Uh, what's it like uh, being in that moment right now? Right now, it just feels like we have to get another game in so we can keep this, this train rolling as far as we can. I know we got some people coming up to watch this game tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we got the whole seat of Big Rapids behind us. A lot of people from the state of Michigan supporting us, too. So I feel like we're doing it more for just than us. So. And last question right there, you just kind of led into it. We got some fan buses coming in, a lot of people tuning in. Social media is lit. Uh, a lot of people really excited about the Bulldogs. What's it going to be like to have even more fans here in the semifinals? Oh, it's going to be great. Um, we've had a lot of support all year. Uh, probably the most support I've seen since I've been here at Ferris, and um, it's just an exciting time right now. All right, here with junior guard Deshaun Thrower here after the Bulldogs practice here at the Sanford Pentagon. Deshaun, what was it like here in practice today? What was the vibe? Um, we were just trying to get a feel for the rims again, um, get up and down, get a good sweat in after yesterday's uh, game and uh, keep our bodies moving and, and get a feel for that sets and stuff and get a feel for how they play. And you guys had a chance to uh, get going, obviously, here at the Elite Eight with Barry University, uh, kind of a team that likes to spread you out and shoot yeah. the three. What was it like to uh, kind of get that under your belt and still be able to come out with a win at the same time? Uh, we played a lot of teams this year that shot a lot of threes, and it, it kind of prepared us for tomorrow's game, too, since they shot a lot of threes last night. The team at uh, West Texas, they're going to shoot a lot of threes tomorrow, so it kind of prepared us for the next game. And we've been facing that all year, and they had a lot of good shooters and stuff, and I think we prepared well for it. And what was it like to get out on the, on the court there as uh, you come into the Elite Eight and uh, it's a big stage here? What was it like for you guys and how long did it take you guys to really get into it and hit that comfort zone? Um, I think everybody had the jitters for the first couple of minutes, but we played in a lot of big games. Uh, we had a lot of big crowds at home. Um, the last regional game was sold out crowd. So I think the last couple of games prepared us for the big stage like this. And um, we knew it was going to be like that. And we have a lot of players that's been prepared for it and with experience and stuff. We got a lot of seniors. So I think after the first couple of minutes, after the first couple of jitters went through, uh, we settled in pretty well and we ended up performing. And you mentioned that West Texas A&M, they'll shoot the three a little bit too. They got a big guy inside. Uh, what kind of things have you guys talked about with West Texas A&M? Um, just trying to keep them off the three-point line, limit them from threes. You know we're gonna, they're going to shoot a lot of them, but just try to limit them. And um, when they do shoot them, put a hand in their face and make them some tough threes, not on open ones. And what's it been like for you uh, coming in with the hot hand and really contributing to the team? You guys have a great team effort, tremendous bench, tremendous starting lineup. What's it like uh, when you have so many guys that are capable of getting it going? Um, that's the great part about our team. We have different weapons. When one person off, the next person steps up. So that's, the, that's, that's what makes us... Uh, so, so dangerous. We have so many different weapons and um, just right now we just building off our momentum and coach telling me to be aggressive. My teammates finding me and I'm finding them and we just playing great basketball. We sharing the ball. So, I mean, us, everybody being unselfish is what helps us playing good right now. Okay. And one last question. Uh, you talked a little bit about some of the keys to the game. Uh, if Bull Bulldogs are going to be successful in this game, what kind of things are they going to be doing well? Um, most importantly, just defend. Uh, we, we get our, uh, our energy off defending. So after we defend, we get the rebound and run. We want to get up and down and, and, and run. So the first most important thing is just defending, getting the rebound and running, get out in the open space. We know shots will fall and offense will come, but the first thing is defending, getting the rebound in, get out and play our game.